If you are running a three on three basketball league, one of your biggest expenses is going to be your facility fees. So you might be asking yourself, how much should I budget? How much should I spend on facility fees each month to run my three on three basketball league? And I want to get into that question today and have you actually think about it in a little bit different direction. I'm going to give you a tool to help you with this. So I'm gonna flip my screen around. We're gonna look at a couple of examples of leagues that we've run and how the facility fees play into all that. And then I'm gonna get you some good stuff afterwards so you can play around with this. So let's flip the screen. First of all, I wanna just look at one of our facility invoices. This is a facility we use for two different leagues in the year, one in uh, June and then one in August, September. So. Um, here you can see the four dates of our league, and this was in 2023. So we just ran this this past June, and you can see our rate for our facility is $150 an hour. This facility, it's an amazing facility. We actually have six full courts that we're paying $150 an hour for, so they charge us $25 for a full court, which means we have 12 baskets, and each basket's going to cost us twelve and a half dollars and and that's an important number that we're going to use here in just a second so we have these four dates we're paying 150 dollars an hour our league's going to be four and a half hours our total facility fees were twenty seven hundred dollars for this league this past june all right now this is a great facility it has um like i said 12 half court baskets it has a nice space for spectators. We've got tables in the foyer area. We have a nice music system so we can play music during our games. And all of the courts have plenty of space and they all have the right lines, out of bounds lines, free throw lines, etc. So this is a wonderful space that we get to use. This is what our schedule looked like on one of these dates. So you can see we had 12 courts or 12 baskets can see which teams are playing on each court. When you do your scheduling, you're gonna help your facility costs if you leave your blank spaces at the beginning or the end so the refs don't have to um, come and then have a break or whatever. You just have them work straight through and then they can leave early if they're over here on this court. The reason we have court one and two open here for the first few rounds is because we are running a K through three clinic on those courts so that's why we didn't have three on three games but that's what our schedules look like let's take a look at a tool that i'm going to give you access to this is an estimated profit calculator and if you use this tool you're going to be able to play around with some variables that's going to that will help you figure out your expenses and your total profit or estimated profit based on things like your facility fee so in this example, how much does your facility cost per half court per hour? So remember, we were paying 25 bucks an hour for a court. That means $12.50 for a basket. We had 12 baskets in this situation. The hourly rate that we paid our staff, I put $28. Uh, we have beginning uh, like high school refs where we're going to pay them currently in 2023. We're paying them about $20 an hour, and our certified staff might be making as much as $30 an hour. So we try to balance it with um, some new staff and experienced staff. This number is gonna change, obviously, depending on where you live. In some places, ex things are more expensive. In some places, things are cheaper. But you're gonna just have to be the expert in your community, and then you're gonna you know, use the relative cost of what things cost in your community to kind of play with this. We get a pretty good t-shirt price because of the number of shirts we get. You maybe won't get be able to get t-shirts for $6, but in our situation, that's about what we're paying. For a four-week league in 2023, we're charging $255 a team. That's for early bird. If they sign up after early bird, which a big percentage of teams will do, we charge another $15. So many of our teams were paying $270. And I put how I put 118 teams here for how many teams we want. If we pop over to our 2023 Maple Grove three on three basketball league, you can see we had 118 teams in this league. All right. And the interesting thing is a year ago in 2022, this exact same league had 102 teams. So um, we are just seeing tremendous growth in all of our leagues. This represents a 17% 
growth from 2022 to 2023 in this one league. All right, let's go back to our calculator. Okay, so that's where I got the 118 teams. So when you plug in all these variables, this calculator is going to figure out how much money you're spending, how much court time are you gonna need with this many teams if you have this many baskets and if you're paying this many staff members to work, it's also factoring in that you're gonna have a site director there as well too. So it does some fancy math for you. And if this is a four week league, you're gonna see, we're gonna bring in $30,000, all of our expenses, including our facility and staffing and shirts is 12,000 and our profit for this league was a little over 17,000. Roughly, it might have been a little bit more because we actually have an upgrade opportunity on getting dry fits where they pay a little bit more. And also remember you have quite a few teams that are gonna pay that extra um, signing up after early bird fee. But this is a pretty good estimate that we made over $17,000 on this four week league. All right, so, um, and if we wanna just kind of see, we didn't change any of these uh, any of these variables from last year. So last year, what did I say? We had 101 teams. Okay, so then we made 15,000 last year. So we saw a 17% increase in profit just because we grew the number of teams. Now, you might be saying, well, Christy, we can't get a facility for 25 bucks an hour on our um, for a court here where I live. And I know, I realize that in some places things are more expensive. So all you need to do is let's just say you're paying $50 an hour. That means you're paying $25 an hour for a half court. Let's just say all the rest of your variables are the same. Okay, so now instead of, oh wait, let's change this to the 118 that we have. Um, instead of the 17.5, you're making $15,000. So you're, you're losing $2,500 about with that double the cost on your facility. So if that number's fine for you, then that facility price is reasonable. And I think you should pay that if this is the kind of profit you're gonna see. But if this number, this bottom line, isn't what you need it to be, then you're gonna go in and you can adjust your, how much you're charging per team. And here again, you need to be your community expert on how much things cost. So if you do the math, if you charge a team $255, and the teams either usually have four or five kids on it, and they're coming for an hour each week to play basketball games, figure out what each family's paying per hour. I think this math is gonna show you that a family's paying $15 a week for their kid to come and play an hour of basketball. Well, let's take a look at what parents are willing to pay for camp. So here is the Timberwolves and Lynx basketball camps for this summer. So if you look at this 2023 camp, they're running it four days for six hours. And if you figure out how much they're, they're paying per hour for their kids to be at this camp, you're gonna see that they're paying just over 13, between 13 and $14 an hour to put their kid in a camp. So if they're paying 14 or $15 an hour to be in a three on three league, we're right, we're right on target with our pricing here. So you can kind of just play with these variables. Now, this facility that we're using, this Maple Grove facility, we run a second league each August, September, and this is our 2023 um, Osseo Maple Grove League. This registration is still open, so we've passed early bird. Uh, the final registration ends in six days, so we still have like a little bit less than a week. Uh, this league in the past has been our biggest league we've ever run where we had 181 teams at this league. So we could go back to our profit calculator, same facility, we're paying 1250 for a half court per hour. We have 12 baskets, all these numbers stay the same. We are charging, it's a five week league, so we're charging a little bit more. And the year of our biggest league, we had 181 teams. So let's just see, it's not a four week league. We got to scroll down to the five week league. That league estimated profit was over $26,000. Again, if those numbers, this bottom line isn't working for you, then you're just gonna have to go in and try some different things here until you're seeing the number that makes sense for you to run a league. Now, keep in mind my estimated profit calculator is only 
um, including the expenses listed, paying your staff, paying your facility, paying your t-shirts, those are the big expenses. You might have some other expenses for your league, like having your website or an email service or your um, online registration fees. Things for running your business are also going to you know, play in here, but at least you can get a general idea of the amount of profit. And you know, when you're seeing these facility costs, some people get really frightened by them. But if you use this tool, you can see how it makes sense. Okay, so I hope that demo was useful for you and you saw how the estimated profit calculator tool can help you determine what you might charge for your three on three basketball league registration fees so that it makes sense with the expenses that you anticipate having with your league. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to learn a little bit more from me about what we're doing with our business Midwest three on three. We run over 35 three on three basketball leagues every year. We've been doing this since 1997. We have over 14,000 players playing in our leagues. And like I was showing you, we are seeing crazy unprecedented growth right now with more and more teams signing up for our leagues as people are learning how much they love to play three on three. Um, so if you want to learn more about our proven system and you would like to follow a step-by-step -step process to get three on three basketball leagues up and running and profitable in your community, please enroll in one of my free trainings. There's a link below and I would love to work with you and support you and help you get on this journey of running three on three basketball leagues. See you soon.